Okay, you guys, I'm going to try to make this short and simple. We're going to go over how to remove the background using your silhouette. Okay, once you open your Google, you will Google whatever it is that you're trying to remove the background. But make sure you put PNG behind it. And with P PNG, if you click on images, you notice with PNG, if I click on this, See, as you see, it has the white background, but if I click on it, these blocks let you know that the background is already gone. So you don't need this one. The background is already gone on here. See, it's going on that one, on that one. This one, it will have a white background because the white background didn't disappear. And another thing you want to keep in mind that the resolution always have to be 900 and above so to get a better a better up a higher pixel count they have to be 900 or above so we're gonna try to find one that has a busy background on it so let's see what we're going and by no means necessary I have no rights to these lol dolls I'm just using them as an example to remove the background to show you guys how to remove the background. Okay, we're going to go with this one. As you can see, it has 21 by 12 pixels. So we're going to right click. We can either do this two ways um, to bring it into silhouette. We could control, I mean, copy. We can, let's delete this, delete that, copy, paste. We can bring it in like that, or we can right-click, save as, and you want to save your image. And it's going to go in down here. You can drag it from here, bring it in here, drag and drop it in here. You can either do it like that, or you can go to File, Merge, find your file, and that's another way to do it. So, we're going to zoom in or make it big, either or, whatever you feel comfortable with. So, the first way we can remove this background is we can use our edit points. If we double click on this, you see the points came up. And that's the easiest way to remove these backgrounds. So, you will drag this over here, click anywhere on a picture. And it's going to keep adding edit points. So, and that will be the way you will remove the background. Now, let's go with her because she, she has, let's go with her over here because she has, she's going to take a while to remove. So, we're going to go with her and just keep adding. If you click anywhere on, along the line and click, it's going to add an edit point. And this is the easiest way I want to say to add back, to remove the background for me. But the very simple way is, I'm going to show you that, show you guys that next. So as you can see, if you keep adding, drag, take this edit point from over here, bring it over here, or you can delete it. You can delete edit points. And you can add edit points. But since we already have them, we're going to take it from over here and bring to over here. See how simple that was? And of course, you can always clean it up. I'm just trying to give y'all an idea of how to move, remove the background. Simple and easy way. So you just keep adding edit points and, and I'm not going to make it perfect because I don't want this video to be long. So bam, there go your background. That's one way to remove it. And of course, you know, you can go in, zoom in and crop it in some more. You all you do is double click, bring it in some more, add some more points to it. And that's how you get some clean cuts. You could get straight up on it and 
actually get to zoom in all the way and see where you left some because if I if I zoom out if I zoom out you can't really see all this right here but if I zoom in you can actually see the spots that I'm missing so I will encourage you guys to zoom in and out to make a better picture now the next way you can remove the background which is kind of complicated so I'm gonna get my thing drag and drop over here and the second way is your tracing tool you go grab your tracing tool from a select tracing tool drag it over here but this only works best if you have a white background or a kind of like a solid background this only works best now everything that's in yellow is going to is going to trace so we're going to hit trace and detach and that's going to de delete her from here and you could delete all this we don't need none of this anymore and voila you can that's the second way to remove your background but of course you have to zoom in make sure you see how you still caught this little white part this little pink part in this section right here you still have that you still have that you still have that I mean you probably would notice if you didn't zoom in you still have this little pink part right here so that's why it's always good to zoom in and to correct that that portion you would Select your tracing area again. Drag over her. Uh, let's see if we can. No, that's not going to work. So, all right. See, we have this little part. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. So, we're going to click trace. Now, we're going to move her over. Click on her. Right click. Release compound pack. Now, see, we need this little spot right here we're going to get this from over here put it right here we need this little piece right here put it right there and this little pink part right here in between her legs and we're going to put that right there oh and we need this little pink part right there which is this little spot right here now we will have to do all we could delete this we don't need this need this we would have to do all three, and you, it's always good to zoom in because these lines probably not lined up good. So once you zoom in, you're going to try to line this little pink part up. Okay, now you're going to hold, hold, keep the um this part select. You're going to shift, click on her. You're going to go to modify, subtract. See how I subtract that background from out of there? So now we're going to click on this little piece right here, correct it, hold down shift, click on your image, subtract. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it's, it's workable, it's, it's doable. Hold down shift, click on your image, subtract. And where did this piece go? Oh, here it is. Bring this up here. Zoom in, zoom in some more, and click on this, hold down shift, click on your image, subtract. Now, if you want to, I mean, if you're one of those OCD people and it have to be clean cut, see how all this is, you can always double click, click, click get your edit points, see how it went in there, and you can mess with it some more. See how your edit points, once you double click your edit points, will come up. Click on here, bring that in some more. I mean, that's if you want your thing to be clean cut. And that's how you remove, see how it have edit points around the whole thing. And that's how you remove your background and silhouette.